Okay, so this is uh, my TS100 uh, soldering iron. A um, few years old, but not used very much. Um, so the problem now is that the display is very dim. Um, you can probably just about pick it up on the camera. Um, it's actually slightly brighter on the camera than it is in real life. Um, it's actually quite hard to read. And um, when I first turned it on, in fact a few minutes ago it was even darker. I thought it had become completely invisible. Um, so it has slightly improved, but um, no, it's, it's, it's really not very usable. Um, so let's see if we can replace the screen. Um, let's have a go. Alright, so uh, removing the screws and removing the back uh, shows the circuit boards here. So that little circuit board here will pop out and there's two screws here holding those um, clips in that hold the actual element which just slides out. Um, anyway, so I'll remove those and we'll get to the underlying circuit board. Alright, so the board came out easily and underneath is the the OLED screen there. It's it's stuck down with some sticky pads there. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, pull that back and then work out how to desolder these very fine contacts and see if this replacement will fit and work and whether I can solder these very fine uh, contacts. Right, so I think I've managed to solder it on um, and fold the uh, screen cable back like so. Uh, very, very difficult uh, to use a magnifying glass, of course, and uh, right at the limit of the soldering iron that I've got. I really need a smaller tip. Um, but let's, before I put the case on, I don't know whether this is going to work. Just plug, plug that in. See if anything. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's a nice bright display. Okay, so something seems to be working there. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to put it back in the case. So this is where I got the display from. <clears throat> no connection to them at all. Just found them with a web search. Um, you can see it's uh, it's very cheap um, and uh, arrived in a few. Uh, weeks packaged well no problems at all so it seems to be a good source maybe there are others don't know right uh, I want to just mention um, the fact that these um, irons have an upgradable firmware and for well quite some time there's been an open source firmware available which I've been using pretty much since I got the iron very good uh, it's been updated several times with new features, uh, it's got multiple language support and so on. So it's being actively developed. Um, I'll leave a link in the video description. Uh, this is the um, the main page, iOS, which describes um, how to do the flashing and which devices are supported and so on. So take a look at that. Um, it's pretty simple though. Um, I'm going to... Well, I, I have downloaded the TS100 zip and extracted it here. That's the first step and then you need to identify which hex file you want to use. So I'm going to use this one TS100 underscore EN for English dot hex. So I'm going to copy that. Now the next step is to hold down the A button while we plug in the micro USB. That will display the firmware or the, or the bootloader I should say version and a drive will appear um, to represent the uh, the file system that this is exposing. So we just paste that hex file in and it should pick that up and then reconnect. Okay, let's reopen the drive. And you see here we've got a RDY for ready. And that means it's worked. If there was an error, that would be an ERR file. Okay. So now we can disconnect USB, uh, reconnect. 
and that's our now our newly flashed firmware very easy okay so that's it new firmware and new screen and um yeah give it a new lease of life good